<laughs> oh, what a part one. What a part one. What a part one. Hello, everybody. It's your man, your friend, and family member, Brain Lee here. Everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, is for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, is for entertainment purposes only. So, y'all, I just got done watching part one. And first of all, shout out to my virtual travelers, my virtual tour family. We had our virtual tour live. It was a wonderful, wonderful time. I asked you guys, how would you guys like for me to cover the reunion? Because I really am about creating this connection with you guys and being authentic in the connection that we're creating. So you guys said do a video of the emotionality behind it, what I thought the themes were in this um, reunion, and then go live to break down the episode. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> and child, <laughs> let's get into it. So one thing that I saw was selective outrage. And there are some, ooh, child, there are some YouTubers <laughs> and people on social media and people in general that get upset about subliminals being thrown. Everybody has thrown subliminals before, okay? It's nothing new. <laughs> it's nothing new. Like, I will bring up um, an example. There is a portion of this reunion where there is a... There, there's a tweet brought up about how somebody feels and it was just basically, you know, allegedly miscommunication about something. And so what I saw with selective outrage, not just that situation, but also to child to be able to use a prop to, <laughs> to be outraged is so overdone. Y'all remember Monique Samuels and how she brought that binder on um, Lizelle and um, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when she read out Jamal Bryant's whole phone number? <laughs> but they blurred it out. And Giselle said, yep, that's his phone number. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> But I think selective outrage is a huge theme in this because at the end of the day, right, every situation is in the eye of the beholder. I've told you guys about cultivation theory before. Basically, how you view the world depends on what you consume and how your mind processes what you consume, right? And so I did see some selective outrage. Some selective outrage was necessary and then others were not so i will definitely say that um relationships were also a part of this um, reunion as every reunion is about relationships but in season in the season 15 reunion part one i really did see that these issues went deeper than the show i i i sensed that now recognize y'all this is my first time ever watching this show in 15 seasons 15 years okay so just give me give me some love grace and space okay but i did but i did see that some of these um issues really did go through the core of the women here and i want to speak on that because i think a lot of times in life when how can i put this if somebody makes fun of I, I'll put it like this. I can make fun of my cousin, right? My nephew, my niece, right? But if you make fun of them, Scar's about to come and unleash himself upon you, right? So I think that's what it is, is that it's one thing for you to do it for the show, but for you to continue that situation outside the show, and you're supposed to be at least my coworker, even if we're not friends, at least have the decency and respect. So I did see, you know, relationships as a huge theme of this. Another theme I saw of part one, right? Another thing that I saw of part one was 
<laughs> was image. I definitely, I definitely, that's, image was a huge thing, right? And by the way, the set looked amazing. And I'm going to bring up a part of the image. There was a point in time when, when Andy was, you know, trying to ring this little bell, like, And that did work, so he had to go and hang on. So y'all can hear it. So it was almost so basically he went up and did the gong. <laughs> and you know what? Listen, I I I <laughs> I felt him in that moment. It's just like guys, guys, we're here for nine hours. Can we try to have some civility in our image? But I think also, too, Andy also understands the game, right? That, you know, at the end of the day, the reunion is supposed to be the culmination of basically a season review, but getting to everything that we could not get to in the 16 episodes, right? So, um, so, <laughs> so image was a big thing. Image was a big thing. Also, too, I think another theme of this, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell y'all the themes without giving stuff away, because that's going to be the live breakdown of, you know, the reunion. But another theme, too, is communication, right? Because some people feel that in a particular part of this reunion that a message was distributed to somebody that was outside the group. And this is how I genuinely feel about it, from the emotionality of it. I'll talk about the the breakdown of, you know, the dynamics and everything. Um, this is how I feel about it. Emotionally, I understood why the move was made, right? If you're going to talk about somebody... I think that that person has the right to, you know, speak on it. Um, <laughs> y'all, y'all know I like having fun with y'all. So, but no, I do think that person has the right to speak on it for real. Like if somebody is talking about one of you, right. And somebody brings you up and a friend send it to you. You have the right to speak on your own character, right? Just like I do, just like we all do as people. So communication definitely um, is another theme in this. And I'm trying to think of one more thing, y'all. There, there was, there, y'all, it was so, so <laughs> much. Oh, I got the last thing. The last thing is self worth is self-worth right now we all know that the strike is still ongoing right that writers and actors are trying to get paid their dues their worth and their capital and there was a moment where you know a cast member was talking about if it if it isn't this or that then i don't want it but also understanding that she is a artist and that you know she does things for the cause but also she has value and i think that's and i think that's really important too to recognize that hey listen at the end of the day or as i like to say rather at the beginning middle and end of the day just because i can do something doesn't mean i have to accept it i'm gonna say it again just because i can do something doesn't mean that i have to accept it And allegedly, the check was for, you know, five figures, right? But it was a low five figures. Still, either way, the fact that this person got taken care of is what should be celebrated. And and I've come to recognize on this show that the, it's, it's it's about the, it's about the logistics, <laughs> the logistics and the and, and the interpretation 
Um, I'm trying to think of the word, y'all. Lord help me. Lord help me. The the optics. There we go. I th- optics are definitely used and utilized. <laughs> optics are used and utilized, right? How if somebody is having success, you will find out, you will find anything to poke a hole in that success to have a point in the conversation. So optics definitely was another thing. So those are the themes that I saw emotionality wise in part one. I hope I did a good job with this. Um, This is my first time actually doing a kind of a regular, regular, schmegular breakdown of the emotionality behind the episode. And I just want to say a quick shout out to um, Observe. Y'all may know him for and let it play. He is amazing with body language um commentary he really really is so y'all check out observe he is great on that and the reason why i wanted to do a video on the emotionality of part one i will do another video on the emotionality of part two of the themes that i saw is because at the end of the day being a consumer of content and being a viewer of content two completely different things viewers View the show for what it is. It's on for that hour, and they're done. Consumers consume the show, consume the after shows. They consume the blogs. <laughs> they consume themselves in the comment section. So consumers taking the experience. Viewers taking uh, the moments. Oh, what a word. The consumers, you know, embrace the experience. Viewers take in the moments. And I'm just going to be real. Everybody's a viewer and consumer in some capacity in life and social media. Um, And on YouTube, I'm definitely seeing that. There are some some YouTubers that they consume themselves into the experience of something, not recognizing that... They're just a viewer because their commentary is so basic in terms of this is what this is what happened, right? So what do I mean by that some YouTubers are trying to, you know, behave like a consumer when they are a viewer? When you consume everything of that experience but yet you are so focusedly directive on your point of view as a viewer and not one to recognize other points of view, that's just being selective, right? But also too, what I appreciate about a viewer is that they can view the content and let it be because we do not know everything, right? (laughs) <laughs> we don't. We absolutely don't. I will say this about myself. I think that from my media background of doing radio broadcasting and television broadcasting, I have really been a consumer of media ever since I came into the world, right? From Nickelodeon Studios and Family Matters and, you know, Good Morning America where, you know... <laughs> where it was uh, upstairs and downstairs and, you know, the concerts in Central Park. So being able to go from being able to consume it in one way only to now being able to consume experiences in multiple ways, I will say at the core of me, I'm a consumer. But my mindset is this, let's let's consume the experience but also let's be open to viewing what's in front of us and let's keep it at that. And if we do explore different access points of the experience, let's keep it relative and not just make it up for content. And that's what some people do on YouTube. None wrong with it. None wrong with it at all. Nothing wrong with it at all. But I really do think that at the end of the day, we need to give people space, grace, and love that we don't know everything 
and to try to take an inch and make it a mile. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, right? <laughs> like, for example, I'm going to say this right now. Shout out to Millie Chun. Shout out to Millie Chun. I think Millie Chun is a great um, content creator. And she went to the spot, right? And she said it was not open. Now, here's the thing, right? Even if it was a soft open, people will take you at face value, right? So I think at the end of the day, I don't think Millie Chun really did anything wrong. I think she was, I think she said in her head, okay, well, she's saying it's open. All right, let me go see if it's open. And if you are a viewer of the show, that's going to be your mindset, right? <laughs> so listen, everything is relative in the eye of the beholder. So with that being said, that is my take on part one from the emotionality of the themes that I saw in part one. The breakdown will be tonight, 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 tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern on the Braylon Lee YouTube channel. And like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for supporting me. I am seeing the growth. I am feeling the evolution. But more than that, I feel in my space there is peace. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if you're letting it fly, it must apply. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 ho! If it does not apply, let it fly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if you're letting it fly, it must apply to you. Ooh, child. Ooh, child, it, it's it's always the postings for me, and I don't just mean posts on YouTube, but all the posts and the comments and the shares and the algorithm of the soul of social media, it, it, it's all that for me. Like, comment, share, subscribe, one love, much love, all love, bye everybody, bye, 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 bye,